Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. Um, this is today on Thursday, April 15th, the church commemorates Father Damien and Sister Marianne Cope of Molokai, um, which were two um, ordained figures that served a colony of folks uh, suffering from Hansen's disease or leprosy on the Hawaiian islands. And um, it's a little unclear when this disease was brought to the Hawaiian islands, but it very rapidly spread and affected many people, um, became a very large problem. So people suffering from this disease were brought out to one of the islands, Molokai, where they were left to fend for themselves. Um, and a Belgian missionary priest, uh, Father Damien of the Fathers of the Sacred Heart, came to Hawaii at his own request to work and serve among the lepers. Um, and he worked with folks to organize themselves, to grow food for themselves, to form a choir and have services and build a bigger chapel um, to really build a community. And in contrast to many people in that time was, um, was willing to actually engage with people and touch the patients who needed treatment for their sores. Um, in a way that he personally washed and anointed and bandaged them um, that I think was really meaningful. Um, but in 1885, he contracted leprosy himself and continued to work on Molokai for the next four years until he passed away. Um, and that's sort of where his time overlaps with uh, mother Marianne Cope who was born in Germany and moved to the US, entered religious life in Syracuse in New York um, and moved to Molokai in 1888 to provide assistance to the folks that were suffering from Hansen's disease on the island um, at the time that Father Damien was very sick. And so when he died, um, Mother Marianne took over the care for the patients um, and she remained there until her death in 1918. Um, mm -hmm. So these are two figures that very much manifest um, our call to care for the sick. Mm -hmm. um, Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Um, let's read together. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Hallelujah. Christ, Christ being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has the dominion over him. The death, the death that he died, he died, he died, he died to sin, sin once for all. all. But the, but the life he lives, he lives, he lives to God. To so, so also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, but the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has also resurrected. Come the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A reading from Daniel. You were looking, O king, and lo, 
there was a great statue. The statue was huge, its brilliance extraordinary. It was standing before you and its appearance was frightening. The head of the statue was of fine gold, its chest and arms of silver, its middle and thighs of bronze, its legs of iron, its feet partly of iron and partly of clay. As you looked on, a stone was cut out, not by human hands, and it struck the statue on its feet of iron and clay and broke them into pieces. Then the iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold were all broken in pieces and became like chaff of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away so that not a trace of them could be found. But the stone that struck the statue became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This was the dream. Now we will tell the king its interpretation. You, O king, the king of kings to whom the God of heaven has given the kingdom, the power, the might, and the glory, into, into whose hand he has given human beings where they live, the wild animals of the field, and the birds of the air, and whom he has established as ruler over all of them, our head are the head of gold. After you shall arise another kingdom inferior to yours, yet a third kingdom of bronze, which shall rule over the whole earth. And there shall be a fourth kingdom, strong as iron, just as iron crushes and smashes everything, it shall crush and shatter all these. As you saw, the feet and toes partly of potter's clay and partly of iron, it shall be a divided kingdom, but some of the strength of iron shall be in it, as you saw the iron mixed with the clay, as the toes of the feet were part iron and part clay. So the kingdom shall, partly, shall be partly strong and partly brittle. As you saw the iron mixed with clay, so will they mix with one another in marriage, but they will not hold together, just as iron does not mix with clay. And in the days of those kings, the God of heaven will set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed, nor shall this kingdom be left to another people. It shall crush all the kingdoms and bring them to an end, and it shall stand forever. Just as you saw that, that a stone was cut from the mountain, not by hands, and that it crushed the iron, the bronze, the clay, the silver, and the gold. The great God has informed the king of what shall be hereafter. The dream is certain and its interpretation trustworthy. Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell on his face, worshiped Daniel and, the, and commanded that a grain offering and incense be offered to him. The king said to Daniel, truly your God is the God of gods and Lord of kings and a revealer of mysteries for you have been able to reveal this mystery. Then the king promoted Daniel, gave him many gifts, and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon and chief prefect over all the wise men of Babylon. Daniel made a request of the king, and he appointed Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel remained at the king's court. Here is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag and my haven. My God, my rock in whom I put my trust. My shield, the horn of my salvation and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord. And so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me. And the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me. And the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress. And cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. 
my cry of anguish came to his ears. The earth reeled and rocked. The roots of the mountains shook. They, they reeled because of his anger. Smoke rose from his nostrils and consuming fire out of his mouth. Hot burning coals blazed forth from him. He parted the heavens and came down with a storm cloud under his feet. He mounted on cherubim and flew. He swooped on the wings of the wind. He wrapped darkness about him. He made dark waters and thick clouds his pavilion. From the brightness of his presence through the clouds burst hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered out of heaven. The Most High uttered his voice. He loosed his arrows and scattered them. He hurled thunderbolts and routed them. The beds of the seas were uncovered and the foundations of the world lay to bare. At your battle cry, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He reached down on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of 1 John. Children, it is the last hour. As you have heard, the Antichrist is coming. So now many Antichrists have come. From this, we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not belong to us. For if they belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But by going out, they made it plain that none of them belonged to us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One, and all of you have knowledge. I write to you, not because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and you know that no lie comes from the truth. I was still on this first slide of the second reading. I think it's slide number 12. Thank you. Who is the liar but one who comes or one who denies that Jesus is Christ? This is the Antichrist and one who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the son has the father. Everyone who confesses the son has the father also. Let what you have heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you have heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the son and in the father. And this is what he has promised us, eternal life. I write these things to you concerning those who would deceive you. As for you, the anointing that you received from him abides in you, so do you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things and is true and not a lie, and just as it has taught you, abide in him. Now, little children, abide in him so that, you, so that when he is revealed, we may have confidence and not be put to shame before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you may be sure that everyone who does right has been born of him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you. We give you thanks. We praise you for your glory. 
Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are most high, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of the Father. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In the 15th year of the reign of Emperor Tiberius, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea and Herod was ruler of Galilee and his brother Philip ruler of the region of Syria and Trachonitis and Lysanias ruler of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah in the wilderness. He went into all the region around the Jordan, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah, the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, you brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the foot of the tree, every tree, and therefore that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. And the crowds asked him, what then should we do? In reply, he said to them, whoever has two coats, must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors come to be baptized, and they ask him, teacher, what should we do? He said to them, collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers also asked him, and we, what should we do? He said to them, do not extort money from anyone by threats or false accusation and be satisfied with your wages. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God.
Hear our cry, O God. And listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, your will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. For thine is, For thine the, is the kingdom, the power, and power the glory, and glory forever, and forever and ever. Amen. Help us, O God, our Savior. Deliver us and forgive us our sins. Look upon your congregation. Give to your people the blessing of peace. Declare your glory among the nations and your wonders among all peoples. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. Never forget the lives of the poor. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your favor to those who are true of heart. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning so shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. I invite your prayers. I pray for all healthcare workers, especially those who are working in our hospitals and have been caring for those with COVID. May, first of all, their health be protected and may their caseload continue to drop. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Pray for the repose of the soul of Valentin Sanchez, a long-term member of our church community. Pray that he is welcomed into heaven with the same generosity that he expressed on earth and prayers for his family who mourn his loss. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. I pray for the people, I ask your prayers for the, the citizens and those in authority in the city of Minneapolis as they, as they work to create a more just situation and response uh, to the killings uh, that have occurred into, at, at the hands of their police. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. <coughs> Let us pray. Bind up the wounds of your children, O God, and help us be bold and loving in service to all who are shunned for the diseases they suffer. Following the example of your servants, Damien and Marion, that your grace may be poured forth upon all through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting creator, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Michelle, would you read the prayer for people critically ill? God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring them courage to endure what cannot be avoided. 
for your will is health and wholeness. You are God and we need you. Amen. Amen. Let's pray together. Almighty God, God you've given, given us grace at this time, time with one accord to make a common song supplication to you. you. And you have promised you have through your well beloved son, son, when two or three are gathered, gathered together in his name, you will you be will in the midst of them. them. Fulfill them now, now, O Lord, our desires, desires and petitions as we best the best of us. Granting, granting us, us in this world all the knowledge of your truth. truth. And in the age to come, um, God, everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. May the God of hope fill us with joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.